In this video, we'll be taking apart the Motorola Defy Satellite Link. If you're interested in seeing more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and click on the notification bell so you'll be notified once I upload a new video. And if you need any tools, there are links in the description. To start off, there's a T8 or Torx 8 screw which needs to be removed on the strap. Now the metal buckle on the strap needs to be removed, as well as the strap itself from the device. There are now four T4 or Torx 4 screws which need to be removed. The satellite link can now be flipped over and then heat needs to be applied to the back cover to loosen up the adhesive underneath, making it easier to pry it off. Here's a better look at the plastic back cover. The battery cable and flex cables can now be disconnected. The black latches or locks on these connectors need to be lifted up in order for the cables to be released. Now those cables can be pulled out. There are nine Phillips screws which need to be removed. Taking a closer look at the main board, we can see the speaker located over here and the flex cable for the power button and side key on that side, as well as the flex cable for the SOS key on the other side, both of which are on removable plastic pieces. Looking at the back side of the board, we can see the vibrator motor located on the corner. Now in order to remove the battery, there are no pull tabs provided to help you pry it off, so you're either going to have to apply some heat on the other side of this cover to loosen up the adhesive underneath the battery, or you'll need to use some isopropyl alcohol and apply just a little bit around the side of the battery so it eats away at the adhesive underneath, making it easier to pry it off. And here's a look at the 600 milliamp hour battery.
Looking at the charger port, we can see a rubber gasket around the charger port itself. This flex cable is for the LED light indicators on the front. There are two plastic brackets holding that in place, so if you wanted to lift up and pry that piece off, those two plastic holders would need to be broken off in order to release that and remove it. There's a GPS antenna on top, a Wi-Fi antenna on the side by the SOS button, and another antenna on the bottom. For the repairability score on this device, I give it a 7 out of 10. Now it's time to reassemble it. Once everything's back in place, you're done. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.